You know, over, over the last few years, Americans of all walks of life have been reckoning with our history, with American history, particularly when it comes to race. And I'm wondering, what do American textbooks in depictions in popular culture get wrong? And, and what, should we, what should we understand about the history of First Peoples? Man, where do I start with that one? Because it's still so present. I mean, we, all of us struggle so hard to shift, to shift that narrative of the stere of stereotypes, and I don't want to name them. Everybody knows them, but I always say, well, my grandmother Naomi Harjo played saxophone in Indian Territory. Put that in your book of images of natives. But I, you know, when I was coming up as a young artist, I thought if I do anything else in my life with my art, whatever that art is, I want people to see us as human beings. And that's a tragedy in those stereotypes because in those stereotypes, we are not human beings. Yet in our, we're, in our real life, we're, you know, we're, we're the original peoples, the original nations of, of this country. We have, uh, we have languages, we have philosophical systems, um, and we're here. Sometimes we're not seen as here if we're not wearing our traditional outfits or we don't look a certain way, but we are everywhere in this country and we are part of you and we are, um, we are achievers. We have stories that are just as complex as any other person's story. And there is no really American culture without the baseline of indigenous knowledge, story, history, and poetry.